Good afternoon, my name is Ashley Lucindy. I am the digital editor for oakpark.com and Wednesday Journal. Today is Thursday, November 22nd, and this is your daily newsroom video. Right. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. Words spoken by John F. Kennedy at the dedication ceremony of the United States Information Agency in Greenville, North Carolina on February 8, 1963. Today is the 50th anniversary of JFK's assassination. We've posted a photo of JFK on our Facebook page, and we'd like you to comment uh, below this picture where you were the day that JFK was assassinated. The OPRF wrestling team is headed down to Washington, Illinois on Sunday to aid in the relief effort. The team is looking for food and clothing donations to bring to families in that area. Visit oakpark.com slash community for more information. Now we have editor and sports reporter Marty Farmer with This Weekend in Sports. Thanks, Ashley. Uh, you know, just wanted to say uh, we've had a bevy of sports coming up uh, in the upcoming weeks. Starting off this weekend, obviously, with the big state swim meet at New Trier. Uh, the Fenwick girls swimming team will be vying for their state championship. The last two seasons, they've come up short as a state runner up to the post Trevians, but led by uh, seniors uh, Mimi Schneider, who's committed to Texas, and Paulina Kaminsky, who will be attending Yale. Uh, Fenwick seems very well uh, positioned to possibly finally take down the Trevian. So I uh, also want to give a shout out to the OPRF girls swim team. Uh, they'll be represented at state as well, um, led by senior Alana Dasoff and some very promising freshmen, Mary, or Hannah Blankenmeyer in particular. We just wrote a feature story on her and her twin sister, Mary, uh, who took fifth at state in cross country. So there'll be a lot of activity, obviously, at Nutri this weekend. Best of luck to both the Friars and Oak Park. Oak Park River Forest Fenwick's got obviously a very viable chance to win a state title. Um, the, f the football teams, as you know, Oak Park and Fenwick both had outstanding seasons, but I, it's pretty cool because I actually contend I think the basketball teams could be potentially even more intriguing if not successful. Uh, Oak Park returns a bevy of talent uh, led by senior guards Eric Locke and Jason Gant. They're six foot and six two respectively, very quick, uh, can score, can pass, so they'll kind of lead Coach Matt Maloney's backcourt. And then they also have a very promising uh, forward center, Giovanni Harrell, who's around 6'7", and has been drawing the interest of several D1 programs. Uh, they round out a very potent lineup with 6'4", Simi Cobbs, who may sound familiar. He's obviously a football star who recently committed to Purdue. Uh, so Matt Maloney will have plenty, weapon, plenty of weapons at his disposal uh, on the hardwood. Uh, Oak Park will open their season at the prestigious RB basketball tournament featuring the host Bulldogs. Also, Brother Rice and several other outstanding teams. Um, and they'll play at the Pontiac Holiday Tournament, which is always uh, one of the premier tournaments in the state. As for Fenwick, uh, they have a new head coach in town, Rick Melnati, obviously a former coach at New Trier, one of the best coaches in the state. Um, he'll lean on senior forward swingman Scott Lindsay, who recently committed to Northwestern. Uh, they also have 6'9 center Dan Dwyer, an outstanding sophomore point guard in Michael Smith and another uh, kind of ball-hawking defensive guard, Keyshawn Smith, uh, who should fit into Coach Melnati's system perfectly. So we're going to have great basketball teams, I think, on both sides of town. And, and for those who are curious, they'll square off on Saturday, December 21st at 7 p.m. at Fenwick. So they can kind of battle for local, local bragging rights. Um, to harken back to football really quickly, Fenwick, believe it or not, is still alive. Um, unfortunately, they did lose in the playoffs 32-31 to to Wheaton North but they kind of picked themselves up off the ground and they'll be playing in the Catholic League final this Saturday at St. Rita. Uh, if they're fortunate enough to play well and win and beat the Mustangs, they'll play in the Prep Bowl final or championship at Soldier Field on Friday, 11 a.m. after Thanksgiving. But first things first, they got to focus on St. Rita. The good news is Coach Nudo, Gene Nudo, texted me this morning and Robert Spillane, their star running back and senior defensive back Keyshawn Smith, who we mentioned earlier. They're both a full goal. So Fenwick should be ready and, and fully healthy to take on St. Rita. Um, Want to give a shout out too to the Oak Park River Forest Wrestling Team, which you mentioned they'll be down helping folks in Washington, Illinois. Uh, they're one of the top wrestling teams in the country. I think a top five caliber program. So they'll be exciting to watch in the upcoming weeks. And uh, we'll also have basketball, girls basketball coming up. We'll have our previews in a few weeks. Uh, all three teams in town should be outstanding. Oak Park beat Fenwick 60-50 to 50 last this, this week, earlier this week, led by uh, Haley Hoy, 
Uh, the Friars are a little injured. Uh, Jade Owens incurred an injury during the game, and they're also missing a few other key players. But uh, once they get healthy, I'm sure Coach Dave Power will have them round into form. And Trinity is probably the best of the three, you could make an argument. They're led by Lauren Krachowska, who's going to go to DePaul next year. And they're one of the top girls teams in, in the Chicagoland area. So that's pretty much it for sports right now. Uh, I'll tell our viewers and our readers to stay tuned because we also have some very exciting announcements that will be revealed in December that should really enhance our coverage even more. So it's a good time to be around sports. Great. Thank you, Marty. Um, you can find more sports news at oakpark.com slash news slash sports. And good luck to all the teams competing this weekend.